out there, my name is Milesy, and welcome to my channel. Uh, first off, big pile of stuff behind me. I am almost done putting this room together. Uh, it's just, unfortunately, right now, at the everything is in a pile of boxes right in the middle of the room phase. So we're getting there. Another day or two and this should be perfect. It's just, it's a process. But, also, another thing you might have noticed... The lighting is a lot better in here, and it should be a lot better on the other camera as well. I've still got two or three more coming in. I want to be able to light up the table behind me really well, and possibly get another light on this table. So hopefully, going forward, uh, within the next week or two, videos are going to start looking really good. So I'm really glad I was finally able to get some good lights in here. It's amazing the difference it's made. But we're not here to talk about lights. We are here to talk about this really awesome box that I got in today. Uh, I have a whole bunch of Stuart Semple paints. I have the yellowest yellow. I have the pinkest pink. I have the greenest green. And I have the loveliest blue. And then I've also got the uh, super base, which is supposed to be the mattest base in the world. And I like matte paints. Plus, it's what is recommended. Whoops, dropping everything. It's what is recommended to use with these paints because if you notice here, I will open this up and be very careful about it and still spill it everywhere. It's a powder. So these are the pigment powders. I did not get the potions because I wanted to, I wanted them to go farther basically is what it is. And I'm just going to tell you right off the bat that what you see on this camera is not what I see. Uh, I can already see there is a huge difference. I've tried so hard to get this camera calibrated, but I already knew that the camera cannot pick these up. And the reason why the camera cannot pick these up basically uh, has to do with the amount of colors that it can see. The standard digital range is something like 16.8 million colors which sounds like a lot, but it's really not. Uh, so these don't show up really well. This is like a really neon green. The pink, which I think is the, uh, the one everyone really knows about, they're just really intense. Like this, this is neon. This almost hurts my eyes to look at. And I wanted to kind of try this out. And I, so I've got a palette. And uh, did I think ahead and grab some paper? No, not really. Jump cut while well, I found some paper. So the way that this works is, another thing I don't have nearby, that'll work, is we are going to take just a little, tiny little bit of this. Not much. And... This is intensely pink. I'm not going to use too much. Just put a little bit in there. And then we're going to give the super base a good shake. Don't know if you're supposed to, but I'm going to. And, oh, it's not sealed. Okay, it's just put together really well. Now you can use this with water, you can use it with the base, you can use it with linseed oil. It's meant to be used in a variety of different ways. So we're just going to go ahead and mix it together. And that is super intense. It got even brighter and I know it gets even more bright than this if you use water instead of the base. So 
So you want to mix it to about a, the consistency of a paste and then thin it out more with water as you go. So I do notice that I didn't mix it very well. Um, and I believe this is a thing with a lot of samples paints where they're meant to go on in multiple layers. You don't get very thick, transparent paint. You, they are kind of translucent. And another thing I have heard, and it's something I am going to be testing, is that the paints themselves, I don't know how well they store because everything I have seen suggests that you're supposed to mix up what you need in the moment. So I'm not so sure how that works. Uh, I do want to show you the difference though between what it looks like with that and a little bit of water. And I don't have much over here, so we'll have to go with just a little bit. And just a little bit might have even been too much. But you can see with water, it's even brighter. And oh my god, that is hard to look at. That is really hard to look at. Definitely mixes better. It's so much brighter with water. Uh, this turns it more into a watercolor than an acrylic though. So it does behave differently as well. But yeah, that is, holy cow, intensely bright. So that is the pink. That is the pinkest pink. And boy, he isn't kidding. He is not kidding about that. Now we have the greenest green. And I'm not going to do water on all of these just because I didn't have a lot, but uh, I just want just a tiny bit just to play with. So there's the green. And that is an intensely neon green. Here we go. So I'm not sure. I don't have any plans for what I'm going to do with this stuff. Might have added too much base, but that's fine. That is a really, oh, it just glooped a bunch of pink out of my brush. I didn't wash it off very well, apparently. But it goes on really smooth and creamy. I really like that. It has, it definitely has a scent to it. And I'm not sure if that's the super base or the stuff itself. Let's go sticking our nose into uh, some paint. It's not that. So it must be the super base itself. Cause I know all of his stuff is scented and I can't remember what it's supposed to smell like. It does smell fruity <laughs> as I'm sniffing paint on camera. It does smell fruity. I just can't quite place what it's supposed to smell like. Uh, yeah, it doesn't say. Now I will most likely be using these as acrylics. Here's the yellow. I don't do a whole lot of watercolor. And as they dry, they do seem to be fairly similar. So let's, oops, this poor yellow has wound up all over my desk. 
I wish you could see it. That's the thing. I really wish you guys could see what I see because even though the green is really pale, the camera still is not picking it up, which is funny because the labels themselves are pretty much what they should be, but the actual paints, not so much. So here's the yellow. And I don't think I mixed that very well. It's kind of still feels a little bit dry, but just kind of gloop it on there. Holy cow. Yeah, no, uh, that is, that's not quite neon, but that is awfully close. But I like how, even when I didn't mix it very well, it is a really smooth, really creamy paint. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. I wish you could see this. Um, unfortunately, it's not even the kind of thing that I can take a picture of and show you because my camera can't see these colors. Uh, my webcam can't see these colors. Even if they could, unless you've got a super HDR really expensive monitor and a computer that can handle it. Your computer can't see these colors. YouTube can't display these colors. So it's one of these weird things where people are talking about it, but it's just hard to show. But I do have plans for playing around with this. Kind of sad that the super base is only 150 mils. Um, it's one of those things where I am genuinely, genuinely considering uh, saving up and getting one of the bigger bottles because I know that there are bigger bottles for a little bit more money. And the thing about all of the culture hustle stuff, if you guys aren't aware about what this is, so these are the coloriest colors. And they were, oh, that is lovely. That is a very lovely blue. These are all really nice. So these are the coloriest colors. And these were created by Stuart Semple in response to Anish Kapoor, who got the exclusive artistic rights to Vanta Black, which means nobody else can use it on the planet. And he's not sharing it with anyone. And Stuart Semple said, well, that's, that's a load of crap. So he created the pinkest pink and he put it on his website so that anyone can use it as long as you're not Anish Kapoor. So he did this and it's expanded into all of these other really nice, really cool things. So he's got the, uh, all the different colors. He's got the maddest, uh, he's got the maddest base. He's got uh, black 2.0 and 3.0. I don't think 1.0 is even available anymore. And there are different takes on Vanta Black. He's got all these really cool things. And he sells them at cost. Uh, because the idea is that since Anish Kapoor will not share what he has with anybody, uh, Stuart Semple is sharing what he has with everybody. He's just selling them at cost. So these are all surprisingly cheap. Um, between the base and the four paints and shipping, I paid about $30 for all of this. And that included shipping. Um, can't remember what it was before that, but this really wasn't bad for an amount of paint that is going to last me a stupid amount of time. I've got, I don't know if you can, yeah, you can't see up there. I've got quite a bit of my own um, bases and mediums as well that I can put this in. So I don't have to put it in the super base but it's recommended to use the super base. So that's why I got it. But these are really cool. Uh, I can see why it's the loveliest blue and not the bluest blue. I think that is the only one that you can actually see properly on camera. Uh, the yellow, absolutely. 
not at all. I am vaguely curious. I don't think it is, but oh my god. Nope. They are, you can't see that at all. Uh, so they are black light, or UV at least, at the very least. Uh, so that's why it looked almost neon, because it's, it's incredibly neon. Uh, even the blue kind of is. But that is the new paints I got. I am going to be playing around with these. I want to see if I can put them in my airbrush and see how well they work. Um, and it might be the sort of thing where because they are meant to be used either as watercolor or as acrylics, you can even put, uh, put linseed oil in them and use them as oil paints. I'm wondering if these would be really easy to put into my airbrush, which you guys haven't seen that yet, have you? You haven't. Uh, that's coming up and that's gonna be a lot of fun. So here we go, some culture hustle stuff. I will be doing more videos with this, absolutely. Um, I intend not to do entire pieces with this. These are going to be embellishment paints, absolutely. Uh, just because doing entire pieces in neon isn't exactly easy, but I do want to try to do a couple of really cool things. But this is fun really looking forward to getting a or to being able to really use this come up with some really cool things so there we go lots and lots of fun some very very lovely colors and when these dry so the one that I, I just noticed this they have dried the same color so in the base it looks a lot lighter when it's in the base and when it's wet but on the paper, once they dried, they're the same. So that's interesting. That is very interesting. I just wish you guys could see these. That is, I think, the most disappointing part about Culture Hustle paints, and I've seen other people say this, that they wish that they could show you. And I, I do. I wish I could actually show you what these look like. Um, but the pack is only like $12 or something like that. So I'll put a link down there. Uh, it's not any kind of a sponsored link or anything, but I will put a link down to Culture Hustle's website in the description below. Uh, you should check these out. Even if you're not a painter, there's tons of things you can do. I've seen people dye their hair with this stuff, and I kind of want to figure out how that works. Uh, it's really cool. So I'm going to put that link, try to figure out what I want to do with this stuff now that I have it. And... Um, yeah, I'll report back when I figure out what I'm going to do. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, all that fun stuff. And I will see you next time. Bye.